By the end of this video, you'll be able to add legato or slurs to the music that you're working on in the music notation software at MuseScore Studio. Let's get started. So there may be times when you're working in MuseScore Studio where you would like to have a slur added to your notes or to measures on your music. The first main way to do this is when you're in selector mode, you can left click on the note. And again, selector mode just means that note input mode is turned off. So again, that I can just click and it will select the note. Once the note head turns blue, then you can go ahead up to the top here and you can see there's a slur icon and I can just left click on that. And that will add the slur to the note that I selected. So again, I'm gonna just kind of zoom in here so you can see the slur was added. Now to select that slur, you can again, left click on the slur. Once it's selected, you can then expand the slur if you would like by holding uh, shift and then pressing the right arrow key. So again, shift and right arrow will extend it to the right, shift and left arrow will extend it to the left. In order to delete that slur, uh, once it's selected, I can then just press delete on my keyboard and that will delete the slur. The keyboard shortcut for adding a slur in MuseScore Studio is to have the note selected and then press S uh, on your keyboard and that will add the slur as well. This will work if you have the measure selected. So let's say I have the entire measure selected and now I press S, it will add the slur for the entire measure. So that saves some time as well. If you would like to flip the slur, make sure you have the slur selected and then press X on your keyboard. So that will flip the slur so that it's on the bottom or the top. So that saves some time as well. The third way to add a slur is to use the palettes. And so you want to go on the left hand side of your screen and make sure you click on palettes for the drop down. And you're going to look for lines. Now I do not have lines here for my palettes. So what I need to do is add a palette and then find the one for lines. And it looks like it's on the very bottom here. So I'm going to press the plus icon. And now lines have been added to my palettes. Now I can left click out of that. And if I look, lines has been added to the very top. And then I'm going to go ahead and press this or left click on this little triangle. And now you can see different icons here that I can add. So the first one there is slur. So the same process would be uh, in effect here. So basically I would click the note that I would like to add the slur to, and then I would just left click on slur. So once I do that, that slur was added. And then the same thing, if I want to change the slur, I can do shift to the right and that will extend the slur. If I want to change the appearance of the slur, I can click any of these uh, boxes this here and I can go ahead and change how the slur looks. So that one moves the entire slur. So another way to extend the slur is just to click on this box uh, on the right hand of the slur and then just drag it to the note that you would like it to be dragged to. So you now know how to add slurs or legato to the music that you're creating in MuseScore Studio. If you made it this far into the video, you likely want to get the most out of MuseScore Studio. I made a complete beginner's guide showing you everything from A to Z, how to get started. I'll put a link to that video here.